Well, after two very heavy and thoroughly disappointing defeats, what was the morale like in the dressing room this week? Um, yeah, obviously it was it was disappointing. Um, I think more so the lesser game. Obviously the, the QPR game, you sort of three 0 down at half time. You, you hold your hands up. You, you weren't good enough on the day. But you know, obviously the way Leicester won the game on Saturday was was bitterly disappointing for us to take because you know on, on the whole we probably you know there wasn't really too too much between the two sides and unfortunately a few errors cost us at the weekend and you know that's been the case over the last couple of weeks so look the training has been pretty pretty good this week it's been lively the lads are, are looking to get back on course and you know it's going to be a tough game for us this weekend but one we're looking forward to. Was there a lot of hurt in the dressing room after that because I guess probably falsely everybody expected you to have the better results against the lower sides. Yeah that's I mean that's just the nature of the Premier League isn't it you can never take uh, take anything for granted and you know I don't think we did that especially especially against Leicester but you know at, uh, as I say we've, we've made a made a few mistakes uh, over the last couple of weeks and, and they've cost us dearly and you know we've been in this league long enough to know that you can't do stuff like that and no, it'll be a uh, it's a good one for us to try and get back on, on, on track again this weekend. You could, of course, be safe with the points you've got, but you're running horrendous, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We've known that all season. Obviously, we've known that since since June last year when the fixtures came out. We, we knew it was going to be a tough run in, but you know, you can't, as I say, you can't take anything for granted in this league. You, you only need to look at the results the, the, the teams below us, below us have produced over the last couple of weeks. and. You can't, uh, you can't just assume that it's, everything's going to be okay. It's down to us to go out and get get some results out of the last few games. And, you know we're, we're we're capable of doing that. But you know, obviously the the three three week defeats in a row have, have have affected us. And you know it's important we get back on track with the result this weekend. I know it's very hard to look at reasons and put your finger on reasons. But is there something that was missing generally? Uh, Tony Pulis has talked about individual mistakes. Do you, do you think it's just that? I think that's been a big part of it. Obviously, you know and and. and as he said before, at this level, individual mistakes you get punished for, and it's uh, obviously it's it's never nice to make mistakes. But you know, as a team, you've just got to get around each other and, and try and dig each other out. And over the last couple of weeks, we haven't been able to do that as much as maybe we would have liked. So you know, it's uh, going to Crystal Palace on Saturday is going to be tough. There, they're on a good uh, good run of form, but you know, it's a good game for us to go and try and get get back on. Yeah, going down to Palace, Tony Pulis, former manager, there'll, there'll be a bit of history down there with him, but it's a tough place to go and the way they're playing. Yeah, it is. It's always a tough place to go no matter, uh, no matter what their form's like. And, you know, we've seen that last year when, obviously, Tony was a the manager there and then we went there and, and got turned over pretty, pretty easily in the end. And, uh, you know, it's something we're going to have to obviously try and avoid this season. And, you know, the form they've been in over the last few weeks has been incredible. Uh, you know, he's just banging goals in and, and getting results home and away. It's going to be a, it's going to be a very tough game for us, but you know we've done plenty of work in the training ground this week, and, and hopefully it'll pay off for us on Saturday. How do you read the bottom of the Prem at the moment? It just seems to be one result, surprising result after another result. But I suppose you get that the last four or five games, and then form sort of goes out the window. Yeah, I think it does. We we saw that last year as well. Some of the results, that, you know, obviously Sunderland were probably the big ones last year. That chucked a couple of results in a way to a few of the big clubs that nobody expected so you know you always got to you can't really plan for that you just know not, nothing really you can do about that you can just look after your your own games and you know obviously the last couple of weeks we haven't been doing that so it's down to us to get back get back to the, the, the sorting our own results out and, and, and not not worrying about uh, other people do you think 33 points <laughs> could be enough or is that the impossible question <laughs> it's, I think it's an impossible question you know I, some people say it will be some people say it won't be and you know we've we've got to go into the last few games and just try and get as many results as we can and you know, and just make sure that, that we don't have to look over our shoulder come the, come the 24th of May. Your manager said a funny thing in the press conference. He said that because West Brom have been involved year after year after year in relegation scraps, perhaps you've got too used to it and that that's, it's, you lack that edge to get out of it. Um, possibly. I mean, obviously the couple of seasons we had, we finished 10th, 11th and, and 8th, uh, sort of three seasons on the bounce. And, you know, we weren't massively involved sort of come the last few games of the season but obviously last year was was really disappointing you know we I think th to be totally honest with you the only reason we we stayed up last year was because the the three teams in the in the bottom three who did worse than what we were you know it was that's the the only thing we didn't help ourselves at all last year and you know that's something we're trying to avoid we, we've been trying to avoid all season this year and you know, look, we knew it was going to be a difficult season we knew it was going to be tough but you know, we, we had a bit of a lift when the gaffer came in in January, and we got a few results. And and obviously the last couple of over the last few weeks, things haven't been going too well for us. But you know, we've seen how quickly things can change, especially in, in the likes of January and February when we we started picking up wins. And you know, we we know we're capable of going back to doing that. And you know, hopefully it starts this weekend. 
you must be very attached to this club. I know you're a Northern Ireland lad through and through, but living in this area and being associated with West Brom, it must be a club closest to your heart other than your national side. Yeah, I've, you know, I'd, I'd, you see a lot of players sort of moving around. Uh, I've been pretty fortunate in, in my career. Well, in my own opinion, do only have a couple of clubs at, at Sheffield Wednesday and, 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 uh, and West Brom. And, you know, obviously I've been here a long time now. And, yeah, it is. It's, it's something that sort of you get used to it. You're sort of, you're almost like part of the furniture, I think. And, you know, it's, it's a great club and it's developed a, a lot since I've been here. And, you know, they see the little bits and bits and pieces changing around. And, you know, I'm fortunate enough to still be still be wanted in, in, in at the club and, and to be playing in the Premier League it, it's great and you, know, you just work hard every day to try and try and do that and try and try and keep yourself involved in in things and you know until a time comes when you're told you're, you're not wanted you, you just keep going and you know, as there's a few of us have been here for a long time now and you know they'll, they'll probably all tell you the same thing and you know it's a, it's a great club to be around and you know I'd like to think that in, since the time I've been here we've been been reasonably successful as well so so final question, all the predictions about what's going to happen this weekend will probably completely be wrong and we'll have another set of unexpected results because it will be in the melting pot for a few more weeks yet. Yeah, I'd say so. As long as our results are positive, one, I don't really care what else goes on anywhere else over the weekend, to be honest. So as long as we come away with some points from Crystal Palace, that'll do me.